Hello there. Bobo, the big coiner is back. Why are people holding on to their Bitcoin and not selling? Right? The statistic shows that more than 70% of people after buying the Bitcoin refuse to sell it. Why? The most important reason is belief and trust. It's a very powerful uh, psychological uh, lock-in. Just like you believe in Christianity, Buddhism, Muslim, or other religion. Once you believe it, you will entrust it with your life. But fiat money isn't a belief. Okay? Especially the global reserve currency. It rotates from Italy to Spain to the Dutch, then UK, and today's US dollars. Actually, it derived uh, from the supremacy, powerfulness, and force upon the people and the world. It's the king or emperor who said so. Uh, to uh, later the military might, right? The last was an American who tried to be fair in the early days, I mean, by patching the US dollar against gold. But when Nixon depack US dollars from gold in 1971, the final trust layer is broken with U.S. saying, I say so, because of the economy, uh, economic and militarily much. That's, that's all. Unfortunately, the world had no choice because almost all international trade are conducted in U.S. dollars. All foreign exchange has to go through the SWIFT protocol. Many countries, uh, foreign reserves, are also stuck in the US dollar. This is despite the fact that America uh, start printing money out of thin air. Though no country believe in US dollar anymore, not to mention to even trust, huh? but most country's economy are just too entangled with the US dollar. There's no quick way out. Now, it's a question of time, all right? Russia foreign reserve has been confiscated by the US already. China, the British country, which is uh, Brazil, Russia, India and China are working their way out of US dollar dependency, followed by the Arab states and the African nations. US dollar is gradually losing its dominant. In time to come, it's, uh, it will lose its value as the world's belief and trust has completely evaporated. For any country, uh, currency to be of value, it must have the belief and trust, not only by its own people, but by all the countries in the world, right? But our world today, every country is to each his own mentality, right? Each taking care of their own selfish interests. How to come to find a currency that is believable and trusted by everyone. Meantime, the mistrust on US dollars, the world economy is heading towards a stormy weather. Someone has to come to the rescue. Otherwise, we can foresee a great financial de destruction ahead. The longer this mistrust is not resolved, the worst 
the world will be. As there has to be a universal unit of exchange for all countries. Are we supposed to wait and see and hope for the best when the US dollar is already, already hopeless? And for how long can we, uh, all countries, outlast this financial storm? I foresee there will be worse consequences. The few mighty and powerful might try to take things into their own hands. Like countries like USA, China or even to Russia. What happened to the smaller country then? A sitting duck waiting to be taken over? A World War Three is brewing, my friend. Really, I wish someone can come up with a solution. And I can only think of Bitcoin as a possible answer. Bitcoin belongs to the world. It does not belong to any one single country. Completely neutral. Probably the best alternative, I guess. And it's borderless. The only problem with Bitcoin is it is still early. Only a small percentage of global people understand, believe and trust Bitcoin. It was suppressed and restrained by the U.S. government obstruction to allow people to adopt Bitcoin through discouragement and governance by regulation. Yet, we can see 70% of people who own Bitcoin, they hold on to their life. These are the people who truly believe and trust Bitcoin. So, when spot Bitcoin ETF is approved, the door is open. All right. People are waiting for the regulation to be clear. We will see people freely believe and trust Bitcoin eagerly. Just, uh, not just the American, uh, but also the whole world. So seriously, the world, or uh, the whole world is in financial junction now. Without a belief and a trust in a new global currency, it is scary to think of our economy ahead and there's not much time left, my friend. So, if Bitcoin is to come to the rescue, it better be fast. I doubt we could survive to the next decade under the current economic uncertainty without a trusted reserve currency. The world will be in a mess. That's why People are holding on to Bitcoin for their life. That's the only life boat. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. See you next time. Bye bye.